having a... Oh man, I know he beat someone crazy just uh, just on the mainstream. Zachary. Zachary, yes. Uh, doing it with the tried and true Link over Zachary's uh, Joker just a bit earlier. I mean, we all know, know and love T here at 2GG. We, we can never forget Civil War. Never. Never. That, that performance is absolutely T memorable for life. Is immortalized. Yeah. <laughs> In all of our hearts. <laughs> the Link legend. Smash 4 Link at that. Yeah, yeah. This, this one, he has the remote control bomb. He has a remote control bomb. He has actual combos and setups now. He's going to be going up against Gak, though, who he saw just make such key adjustments against another Three, massive sword character two, in Shulk. One, Knowing that he go. has his way to slip in, especially against those aerials, especially his edge guarding as well. This could, I kind of feel like this can maybe go either way. No, I mean, it definitely can. Like, Gak doesn't have to deal with a huge sword like he did in the last matchup against Kome. But now he has to deal with an out-of-shield option that does everything for Link in the neutral air. And then there, and then just everything like G-Pick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I, I love the idea of coming off of the T immediately looking for that up smash, expecting Gak to just try to go above him over and over. Again. So that's right. something we're going to have to look out for as the set progresses. Because we're, we're so used to seeing like top level Nesmanes also using like, like side magnet movement, right? Around somebody's shields to really intimidate them, but Teach is gonna <laughs> that forward tilt so active, catching the air dodge. It's it's not only that active, it's it's so ridiculously strong as a move too, even in the late hitbox. Oh, that's gonna be a quick punish. I mean, that that up out of shield is actually very good for links. I mean, it's basically their fastest out of shield option, if I'm not mistaken. The only problem is if you don't connect, you leave yourself wide open. Meantime, T leveraging this lead, jumping back, tossing some boomerangs and some arrows, forcing Gak to get past the actual obstacle force over and over again. And there's always that last mix of oh close that. Oh Yo! The, the boomerang assist? Yeah, to catch. Oh, he's dropping the bomb as well, sending him off stage. I don't even think he needed to explode it. He could have just put it right in front. That was such a sick side magnet, by the way, to eat one of those bombs. There we go, another bait for the air dodge. What T was looking for once again, two stocks ahead now. I mean, T is showing why he was able to take out Zachary. That was no fluke. I am in it to win it. I think it's too far. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, he definitely just missed what he wanted. This don't look right. <laughs> man, lining up those like rocket bomb jumps as Link is, is serious astrophysics, man. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> What? That, 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 what? That, that's even hotter, but... All right. Okay, so that was really cool, but I think what just happened is, you know how there's a hitbox side magnet? So it clanked. I think he literally clanked with the side magnet hitbox, and or is it not get hit by the boomerang? Nice. Yeah. Nice. I would have never thought of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Gax is showing the tricks, but he, he got scooped up by that down toad anyway, leading into <laughs> to the aerial upbeat. That edge guard by T, like, when, once, like... Gak manages to finally get past that obstacle course, toss off stage, and then so many different angles constantly covered with those bombs over and over again. And just when you finally think you've snuck past, when you finally think you've air dodged past those projectiles, then you get punished for that yep. with just death. No, and it, it didn't matter. He, he kept trying to mix up with the side man, as we saw. Yeah. He kept trying to try to double jump in between stuff, but between the bomb and the boomerang, he kept getting clipped, and when he air dodged, he he had that forward tilt waiting for him yet again. It, it reminds me of watching like Rido's Duck Hunt, right? Where like the bombs are just a distraction. They're just to make you scared enough to do something that he can then kill you off of immediately. Yeah. All right, Gak going to FT yet again. Back air catching that jump. DK fire as well. And you know, that side man it actually is great OS because it's really, you're trying to call out where they're going. If they go high, you're in a position to go ahead and up air. If they go low, you're in a position to forward air and try to, mi or nair and mix them up on shield. Right, right. That way you're, you're just able to do your favorite aerial. You just need to exist in the air a little bit longer. But right away, here in this first stock, global players just scrapping. T trying to take that stock immediately off of that dash attack. For those of you that do not know, that dash attack basically having almost as much knockback as Link's forward smash. Mm -hmm. Got another bomb jump, but not able to touch ground. Still surviving that back throw, though. Gak almost lined up that hitbox. He jumped right in the path, just didn't have his attack out in time. Oh, he got shield poke this time around. 
Oh, that's gonna do it. Beautiful stuff. That up strong, so good at uh, catching not just the neutral get up, but also a jump out of the corner, which considering how comfortable T is tossing out these nares over and over again, not a bad call to try to cover as well. Forward air, middle of the stage, taking out back stops. <laughs> oh, it's a combo man. That's tool. 60 it's a kill move. The multi-purpose and wow, actually able to land with virtually zero lag. And T's is not ready for that. I mean, he's ready to go ahead and hop over and over with these neutral airs now. Once again, getting gacked off stage, and this is the challenge. There's the chance that, oh, that was so smart. Gak delaying the PK rocket just a little bit so the bomb will go off too early. Uh, almost to the very last second, uh, making sure T did not have an easy time trying to edge guard him, looking for the forward tilt yet again. Lucha Lair has him right back off stage, and again, g -Fix, there goes a side magnet to flank with the boomerang. He's basically parrying with side magnet. It's so cool. <laughs> Barely enough drift off of that up B from the PK Thunder to get away from that first forward smash attempt, but can't get away from everything. T able to get back second stop. Well, T just disengaging afterwards, interesting. I thought he was gonna look for uh, more up tilts, but I think he just wanted to build up that, that zone again, especially now that he has a nearly a full stock lead. He's gonna make Gak as miserable miserable as possible. Yeah, I think T really just recognized the fact that, you know, Gak, he's gonna neutral air. He's gonna hit some type of button. I don't wanna run the risk of my up tilt getting beaten out and allowing Gak to get ahead of Steve. I see, yeah. You didn't trust the frame data in this situation. Oh, oh my god, Gak, if you landed that. <laughs> and still, he's still just pairing these boomerangs too. Like I kinda point that out. It's so Again. cool! <laughs> And you have T kind of parrying the PK Thunder himself with the neutral air. But Gax able to get that back throw. Now sitting at 72, 80% after the neutral air. Wow, the jab's actually not catching the wave land. Nice catch on the double jump. Gax is able to try to keep it going, but T choosing his moment and getting the maximum punish for the air dodge. It's still not enough. Slightly misaligning the bomb as well. Gak managing to cheat death a little bit here. Yeah, it was just under the little boy. Ooh, good DI coming out this time around, not dying early to that forward air. Saw the F tilt barely uh, mistimed as well. Yeah, T just swinging for the fences right now. Neutral air, very late hit, going to land, and the boomerang set up again to the strong hit of the neutral air. The thing that was so crazy with all those short hot neutral airs we saw coming out from T was how. Uh, composed and calm Gak was despite that, right? Like, it didn't end up working, but he was just kind of, like, standing there. He wasn't panicking, rolling around, spot dodging. He was just trying to catch himself just under T and get the punish that he was, like, you know, a really meaty punish on top of it. Didn't quite manage to pull it out, but the fact that he wasn't panicking and how much damage is potentially on the table, his stock on the line after all that he just barely survived is such a good sign of his mentality right now. All right, T up 2-0 against Gak, but this is very familiar territory for Gak. Let's see if, again, he can make the 3-0 comeback, but I don't know about that one. It's been looking very convincing for T. Gak finally managing to sneak his way off the ledge. More neutral airs, and finally the side magnet actually being used offensively this time around, as opposed to just trying to parry the projectiles. T just, so far, Gak hasn't had really success baiting T into air dodging, like really punishing it. Whenever T has chosen to air dodge, it's always been just the right time to avoid a killing blow. Grab back throw, sending Gak right back off stage. Just barely slipped that pack air in there to send T off stage. But again, the bombs are finally online this time around. After he missed the first one, now he just knows the angle. Yeah, and, it's, and we see Gak trying something different every time to get a punish on it. And so far, that PK Thunder Tail has been the best damage he's been able to get on it. Yeah, because it's, because it's not a consistent angle that he's going to be getting off of the bomb. Because he can be a little bit too high, he can be a little bit to the right. Yeah, and not only that, but it also has to do with uh, Ness's run speed as well, right? When Link has already shot behind him, he's not able to run to Link and get a punish in time. Link is too far. It's not going to connect as well. Even the neutral air whipping there. <laughs> yeah, Gak's actually playing a little more reserved, consistently putting up that shield, not trying to hit it too early, and actually allowing T to hit that first button now and trying to go around all these big, 
swinging hitboxes. Yeah, speaking of which, that's all that team needed in order to pick up that kill, not the ledge. Over oh no! no! Oh no, Gact actually just face palming as soon as that happened. So unfortunate. Especially <laughs> game three, you're already down so much. I don't know if he was looking to go underneath himself or if he was just trying to go up to where T was going. Man, it's, it's hard to say. You hate to see it, but you know, these players play on. Yeah, see if Gak is able to go ahead and mount up this comeback, but it's looking like he is a little distraught after that. And the frame trap coming out. Already at 74%, given the amount of power that he has behind him. Gak's such a tough oh, spot. Oh, the drag down forward air. And Gak wasn't ready for it. He air dodges and just dies immediately afterwards. I think he was just trying to air dodge to the ledge. He got caught and dragged down, and everything else just fell from there. T moving forward with a 3-0, getting even further into this incredibly hard bracket. Really making Link shine oh, right now. I mean, those last two slots are just that was and that was just tragic. ultimate at its finest. It's like you, you just you just can't. At I its mean, finest? Well, yeah. I mean, what are you talking about? You're not gonna see that in any other fighting game. Oh, SD. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> SD. You're getting hit by something unfortunate. <laughs> You'll see that in Marvel sometimes. Yeah, but then you get infinite into that game. Yeah, and then you just die, yeah. <laughs> you get infinite into this game, too, but that's with a monkey. Tra tragedy just strikes everybody. Always, always. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid it. We got oh, man, light I mean, walking up to 